What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Slim Win Reacts. Um, I do reaction videos to Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Bali. It'll be a long list eventually. Um, main reason is after lockdown, hopefully, hopefully some part of July, maybe before, maybe after, um, I'll be out traveling there, seeing these places. So what better way than to start looking at videos and checking it out. I've been to Thailand and Cambodia. I've been Thailand 2018 and 2020, and then I in 2020 I also went to Cambodia for a week. Um, but I've never been to Vietnam, and today I'm going to be looking at 10 best places to visit in Vietnam. So, yeah, let's delve right into it, I'd say. Again, I've never been to Vietnam, but straight away, it's like that iconic field, isn't it? A landscape. Can't wait to see it in real life. A long, narrow Stunning. country squeezed in between the South China Sea Lots and the Laos and Cambodia borders, Vietnam is a land of striking landscapes, ranging from the lush rice terraces and forested mountains in the north to the picturesque valleys of the central highlands and the fertile delta and beautiful beaches of the south. Included in the mix are booming cities, colonial towns, traditional villages, and other worldly islands. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Vietnam. Little hole. It's got tunnels. Number 10, the Lat. Year-round cool weather and idyllic scenery of misty valleys, lush pine trees, and colorful flowers. I did I did a video about Vietnam as well, um, 101 facts, and it was saying in that video about how France um, was in Vietnam for a while. So again, it, I'm, I think I'm going to be spotting some European buildings as well. Are some of the reasons that a lot was once used by Vietnamese emperors and French colonials as a summer retreat. Today, this charming town in the south central highlands of Vietnam is a popular destination for those looking for relief from the heat. A walkable city, the lot is a beautiful scene of French colonial architecture and villas set amid picturesque landscapes. I never, I never found the heat to be. A massive issue. I always, I'll never forget the first time I went to Thailand and you come out of the airport and the only way I can experience, explain it is when you open an oven door too fast and it's that sudden heat wave hits you. <laughs> but then, um, no, Thailand wasn't too bad. Cambodia was a sweat box. It was real humid. I remember you, you, you'd go for a cold shower and you'd be all cool and that and then you go and put your t-shirt on and then once you're outside your body heat just comes up with the heat and that t-shirt's just a, a wet rag again, you know, just sweating. But apart from that, apart from Cambodia, yeah, if, it, if I could do it, if an Englishman can survive, you can too. <laughs> Number nine, Tam Kok. Love to go on, on a hike paper, and Tam Kok can be described end, as rice waterfalls. paddies surrounded by limestone cliffs and rock formations. In reality, Tam Kok is one of the most breathtakingly beautiful destinations in Vietnam. The best way to explore is by boat, and you can set off on a rowboat that takes you up alongside the lush green paddies and between Whoa. striking limestone cliffs. Look at that. You'll even float through three tunnels that run <clears throat> through the mountains, which were carved over time by the river itself. That limestone rock really adds an uh, effect, doesn't it, to the landscape? It's cool. <laughs> Using her feet to paddle. <laughs> Number 8. Ho Chi Minh City. Lying along the Saigon River near the Mekong Delta in southern Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City was formerly known as Saigon and served as the capital of South Vietnam during the Vietnam War. 
Today, it is the largest city of the reunified country, offering plenty of reasons to visit from it's, its blend of historic and modern attractions to vibrant shopping, dining, Love and that. nightlife. Check that out. You see, that looks, again, knowing that France were involved with Vietnam for a while, it must be a French church. Absolutely stunning, eh? I love it with the trees and that around it, and then the modern city in behind. That's cool. Whoa, look at all those bikes. Stunning. Some really nice footage on this video. Wow, all colors on that building. Stunning. Number seven, Mekong Delta. Colorful floating markets, fruit orchards, rice paddies, bird sanctuaries, and quaint villages are all what draw many to the Mekong Delta in southwestern Vietnam. Nicknamed Vietnam's rice basket, the Mekong Delta is an agricultural region made fertile by the maze of canals and streams Look fed by the Mekong River. Stretching from the Gulf of Thailand to Ho Chi Minh City, the Delta region feeds more than a third of the country wow. from its rich plantations, rice paddies, and fish farms. Like an actual highway for them. So cool. So that's the Mekong Delta. See, I'm terrible at names and that. I've got to get better at learning names of the places. But I feel like I've heard a few of these places, but I wouldn't be able to point them out on a map. Cheating. He's got a motor. <laughs> Number six, that was cool. Nha Chung. Located on one of Asia's Nha most Chang. beautiful bays off the coast of South Central Vietnam, Nha right. Chang is a popular seaside resort city. Picturesque mountains, beaches, and lush islands all make it a favorite destination among tourists, Vietnamese, and scuba That's divers. Cool. If Adored with islands, resorts, you can go palm to. trees, and a lovely promenade, Nha Chang's beach is its main attraction. Amusement and that water parks provide pool, fun for everyone it? with roller coasters and Look wave pools. Too chlorine for the water, but if it's natural, fair play. It's a nice building. Wow, that's cool. It's a Buddha on top of the building. Even though they got time to paint their boats nice colours and that really adds to it. Whoa! Number five, Sapa. Located in the remote Whoa, northwest like of Vietnam, the mountainous town of Sapa is known for its culturally diverse population, as well as its proximity to incredible scenery. From the town, there are many organized tours that aid tourists in mountain hikes and exploring Look the nearby that. rice paddies Stunning. and remote villages. These tours present views of beautiful waterfalls so and the opportunities nice to experience the food, and customs, and, and way of life among the local you tribes. You really have to worry where you're focusing on that. Stunning. I'd love to go on a hike and just come across a little village like this. It'd be so cool just to walk through it. Number four, Hue. Situated on the banks of the Perfume River in central Vietnam, Hue once served as the imperial capital of the Nguyen dynasty. Today, the vestiges of this former glorious period are reflected in the city's architecture, culture, and cuisine. Of the city's monuments, the citadel is the most famous. 
once the seat of the New Yan emperors, the citadel is a sprawling complex of grand palaces, ornate temples, walls, and gates. Another important landmark is the city's official symbol, the Chenmu Pagoda. It's a dragon, Number the three, symbol, the Huiyang. Chabuda. Located off the Apologies. coast of the South China Sea, Please comment Huiyang if you know is a what beautiful the symbol old is. city dating back 2,000 years to the Champa Kingdom. The city's historic architecture, traditional culture, and textiles make it a popular destination in Vietnam. At the heart of Hoi An is an atmospheric old town, which is small enough to walk around easily. The narrow, winding lanes of the old town are lined with beautiful architecture, traditional wooden houses, and hundreds of tailor shops selling clothes, shoes, That's bags, and okay. souvenirs. That looks amazing. That's stunning. Wow. Number two, Hanoi. As it's the booming capital city of a reunified Vietnam, Hanoi is an exhilarating blend of Eastern and Western culture. French colonialism is visible through cuisine as well as architecture. Part See, I've heard of Hanoi as well, but I wouldn't be able to point it on a map to you guys where it's too in Vietnam, but it's noted, another place, plenty of places as it look, as you can see. Particularly in the French Quarter in the Ho Quan Kiem district. Hanoi is packed with Hanoi. incredible temples and a visit to the 11th century temple of literature is a must-do activity. The side-by-side -side Ho Chi Minh Museum and Mausoleum are also major attractions in Hanoi and both are striking buildings from the exterior. Wow, look at it at night with the lights. Comes alive, it looks as well, it's cool. Wow. Number one, Ha Long Bay. One of the best known destinations in the entire country is Ha Long Bay. Right. <laughs> look how stunning that looks. It's, I don't know what it is, it's just the water, the. The way the islands are, the little island caps are, the jungle effect, what a vibe that is. Its reputation Completely is well deserved because it is truly beautiful. Ha Long means descending dragons, which is indicative of the silhouette of the limestone outcrops that poke out from the water. Day cruises are a spectacular way to experience the beauty of this otherworldly bay and to see as many of the islands as possible. You can go swimming, look for caves to explore, or find some of the more remote, uninhabited islands while cruising through the Ha Long Bay. Look at that bay. That's stunning. So cool. Every boat is just a little more unique. It's just so cool. I love the characters to them. Look at that. Nice beach. Whoa, that's a big cave. I wouldn't feel claustrophobic in there. I don't think I am, but some of them look a lot smaller, the caves you have to go through and that. That was a cool video. Learned a lot from that, I felt. Um, definitely got a better idea in my head how it is in Vietnam. And we'll be... Uh, picking out some of these places to do individual videos to have a look further into Vietnam. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you're more than welcome to join me on other videos I watch and react to and uh, please like and, like and subscribe if you would like to. I'm not going to force you, there's no pressure. But yeah, thank you very much. Catch you in a bit.